This is round nine of Blackstone Fortress. Time to draw another exploration card to see what we're doing next. Is it going to be a challenge or is it going to be a combat? It's a challenge. Cool. Okay, this one is called Ice Fire. With a roar, a great jet of sky blue flame engulfs an explorer. In leader order, roll four activation dice for each explorer. Keep going until a roll for an explorer does not include a six on any of the dice. That explorer suffers one grievous wound. Oh, Darn. Don't really want that to happen, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I guess that's what's happening. So we have to roll four die for each explorer. We'll just start with uh, the first one in the maglev chamber. That's Tadius. So if you don't get a six, that's my new rule. I shake it until I get the Crack die back to normal. If you don't get a six, you get a grievous wound, and as I understand it, the challenge stops, right? It says, I've misplaced the card now. I have no idea what, uh, where it went. Keep rolling until a roll for an explorer does not include six. Yeah, so until has now ended because that does not include a six, and Taddeus now has a grievous wound. That's not healable. Cannot heal a grievous wound uh, until you return to, to Precipice. That's too bad. Don't really like grievous wounds. But I am glad that it ended so fast. Uh, I kind of feel like that would be a really short video if I stopped it there. So let's draw another exploration card and see what we get. Another challenge. That means, I think, by my count, all three of these cards are combat. Like, after this, this is our last challenge. If I am not mistaken, that's three combats. I don't know that that's a bad thing. I mean, frankly, the combats have turned out to be a lot more strategic than most of the challenges. So, it seems like a lot of the challenges are just a good excuse to, to deal out damage. Uh, gr grievous wounds, specifically. So let's find out what this one is all about. A test of nerve. A number of discoveries are protected by electrostatic energy fields. The explorers can either reduce the voltage of the fields or seize a discovery quickly at the cost of being hurt. Deal out one discovery card for each explorer and place them face up in a row. Then place two wound counters on each of the cards. In leader order, each explorer must either remove one wound counter from a card or take one of the cards. Then the next explorer must either remove a counter or take a card. E keep doing this in the same order until a card is taken. When an explorer takes a discovery card, place it beside their character card, and then that explorer suffers a number of wounds equal to the number of wound counters on that discovery card. This challenge is then over. Okay. When an explorer takes a discovery card, place it beside their character card, and then that explorer suffers a number of wounds equal to the number of wounds. Okay, so this challenge doesn't scale well, I think, to a one-player game. And in fact, I don't know that it that it scales well to a cooperative game at all. Uh, I think it's a really weird assumption that people would do anything but sort of the obvious, which is just remove the tokens before you take a card. I don't. I. I definitely don't understand the intent behind this, to be honest. So, maybe if we play it out, it'll make sense. Uh, so we'll just line up the characters here. Let's do Taddeus, Janus, Pius, and Amelin. So, according to this challenge, 
we cycle through the player characters, and you can remove a counter or take a card. Keep doing this in the same order until a card is taken. All right, so Taddeus's turn. He'll remove a counter. Janus, remove a counter. Pius, remove a counter. Amelin, remove a counter. Taddeus, remove a counter. Janus, remove a counter. Pius, remove a counter. Amelin, remove a counter. Okay, there are no more counters, so the next explorer is Taddeus. He may either remove a counter, there is no counter, or take a card, so he must take a card. When an explorer takes a discovery card, place it beside their character card, and then that explorer suffers a number of wounds equal to the number of wound counters on that discovery card. There are no wound counters on the discovery card. This challenge is then over. So, all right, he takes a card. It's Archaeotech. It is worth two points, which uh, is more than a lot of the other Archaeotech I have in my stash here, so that's great. And I guess from, so again, what I'm understanding here is that these go away. We don't get to keep these because the challenge is now over. And so I see that that's the, that's the idea, is that all players would know that the discovery cards are going to go away once we stop removing counters. The challenge is, can you, can you refrain from taking a card to benefit yourself when you know ultimately that the person who's going to get it is the first person who goes? So I guess, uh, why was Taddeus standing backwards? I guess he didn't want to know what what his card had on it or something um so i guess yeah the I, I guess in some gaming groups i i guess people would want to get the card for themselves i just feel like this is a cooperative game and i would just talk to my fellow players and just just say look everybody we're gonna share all the loot in the end anyway so let's just do this for the benefit of everyone and that's what i did except Instead of playing with a bunch of other people, I just played it out with my four player characters on my own. So that worked out. So that was that round. Um, we'll we'll start inevitably a bunch of combats <laughs> next time because we only have three exploration cards left. So they have they've and and we've already gotten four challenges. So these are all combats. Might as well go ahead and turn over the one right now. So there's. That's what we're in store for next. We'll we'll set up for that and um and tackle it next time.